guys welcome back to this manual we are ready to activate the broken tower the broken terminal link tower yes the only thing i need left is titanium rods and i do believe i got them all let's run on over here nope this way there we go hopefully it uh, activates most of the map and not most of the map most of the region but also we can uh, have it so the monsters don't spawn all the time um oh hello yeah i forgot um I just said, so the monsters don't spawn all the time. And I have remapped some of the keys on my keyboard, so <laughs> hopefully it goes better. But the problem is, I've already hit the wrong few buttons. Uh, let's go ahead and fix this on up. Oh, yes. Quest complete. 5,000 XP. Clear reward. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, hold E to activate. Power on. What does that give us? What does that show us, actually? Maybe it'll show us the whole region. Maybe I can find out certain things. All right, so that's his uh, narrow... I didn't read it uh, fast enough. Nearby link towers. Yeah, well, the question is, I'm having a hard time figuring out which ones I can get to. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Why are we here? Uh, transmitters. Uh, deadly transmission stops. Kills monsters when responding. Each monster permanently killed this way. Drops one mana bead. And I got enough to go ahead and craft that bad boy on up i said craft oh i'm hitting cancel uh that that helps if you hit the correct button there peanut there you go uh acquired signal no i don't want to do that uh, and shows uh, uh um no i don't need to do that don't need to do any of that but uh yes we are all set we can go ahead and leave i don't want to fast travel anywhere either we are good to go. Over there, though, there is like a wishing well. I don't know how to get to there. How do I get over there? Over here, over there. Um, yeah, so the, the next thing i like to get to, I can't get to this link tower as I tried. So maybe try to get up to this one, which I've been trying to do as well, and I have not found a way to get there. At least not yet. At least not yet. So I walked along all along here. Uh, this bridge is not actually there, I don't think. I may have to go back there just to find out. So, yeah, first thing I'm going to do is come over here and see what these bridges are. I don't think I... Maybe I didn't go that far. I thought I did. Uh, let's head on over that way. Put a marker over there. And go back to smashing some things. Explore more of the map. Hopefully, maybe even find the tomb. That'd be kind of neat to do. Find another tomb today and go on down through. But uh, first things first, let's get back over to the campfire where I need to go. Well, this is something new and interesting. We made our way over to here, and we're at a bridge with a question mark. So let's go ahead and read this. Under construction, come back later. I guess that answers that question. Uh, yeah, nothing. Way, no way to get across that. Okay. Um, so let's continue on over to maybe the other bridge. Possibly. Can we cross this bridge? I'm going to guess under construction, come back later. I guess not. I did make it over we're back to the smelting area that we have, and I am crafting some more, well, titanium. Oh, I will be crafting some more titanium. Just got to go ahead and get the materials that we need. So now the question is, uh, where to go to from here? That is the question. Well, just searching around the area, and I found myself a flank steak cooking recipe. A cut of beef fried just right with a side of potatoes. Mmm, potatoes. Uh, I need some more meat. I got potatoes, but not enough meat. All right, we'll, we'll track that. And he actually gave me some potatoes as well. Looks like we found ourselves a salvage yard with a maze you got to go through. Try to take out all these one at a time would be good. I still haven't been able to find out how to get the other hide yet. Oh, looks like my inventory is full, but there's a fireplace nearby that I can try to get to. You can probably see it over on my mini map. Uh, yep, this will work. And let's go ahead and light fire, or store, I guess. Ooh, level 25. Good time to sit down at the fire because maybe, just maybe, my knowledge of this world is... I, I, forgot, I forgot what it said. Um... Let's go ahead and sit on down. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Fisher XP from fishing, farming. Uh, 20 uh, hit points 
regain by eating by 50%. Um, I'm not really doing this. Actually, I'm not really doing much of any of this right now. Uh, I don't really fish. I mean, always regaining hit points is kind of good. Let's go in here. What did I, did I learn anything? Storage box discount. Um, iron. Uh, the problem with the iron is I pretty much am using all of it to make steel so I can go ahead and make titanium. I got that crafting at our smelter so I can get, gather this rather easily. Trading materials out the camp storage box costs 50% less XP. I do like that. like that a lot. What else? Um, anything else? Oh, what is this? Deter fangs. Trinket. Crafting material. I need some rubber. Uh, Bloodlust flows from these vicious gnashers. Max hit points minus 75. Life drain per hit plus 2. I mean, I'll, I'll make it because it's a trinket, but I'm not really sure I like the minus 75% hit points. That's quite a bit. And what else did we learn? Anything? No. Alright, so rubber and, well, I can easily get the steel. That's not a problem. Or not the steel, but iron. Just do some smashy smashies here. And I'll gather this stuff over here because that'll drive me nuts. Oops. That should have been a one hit. Uh, nope, can't do the rubber with that. I have to do it with the mother tool. But since we're here, we know we need some rubber. Alright, so I can make the storage box, which is good. Grab a couple extra. And let me go ahead and switch weapons here. Good place to get some rubber, I'll tell you that. It's everywhere. I really haven't used the axe that much, have I? Let me go ahead and... That does pretty darn good, too. Uh, search the car because... Yep, that's why. Uh, I got enough to do throwing knives as well, but I'm not going to go ahead and do throwing knives because I don't really use the throwing knives that much. All right, inventing craft. Uh, where was that one? Storage box discount. Yes. Um, this is a feature, not a trinket. It's so a hold down and craft. There we go. And do I have enough for this as well? Yes, I do. Max hit points. Minus 75%. That's a lot, man. Life drain per hit. So I'm guessing when I hit them with this, if I have it on me, um, they will slowly bleed or something of that, 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 that nature. I guess. I don't know. Have no idea. Um, if I go to... Is it inventory? How many have I made now? I gotta craft one more. Well, the problem is we crafted everything that I possibly can. As of this point. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. Alright, so this is where we are. At the salvage yard. Ah... <sighs> Blue, uh, Blue Ponds Roadside Motel. What I am trying to do is I'm trying to find, but I can see the cliff going all alongside here, so I don't think I can get up into here right now either. You can see the cliff side all along here. Just trying to find my way around. That's all I'm trying to do. Just found myself a campfire, and I'm going to race on over to a time cap, so hopefully I can get there in time. Where's my little marker? It's over this way. So I did a quick check on the map to see what is actually unlocked. And we have discovered pretty much everything right now. So everything, as far as I can tell, is unlocked. And I'm not going to get there in time by going the way I'm going. Plus with all these things around here. And that thing as well. Ten seconds ago. Well, Alright, since we're here, let's go ahead and clear some of this out. Um, that's not where I was trying to throw that. You know what? No, that was brilliant. No, uh, that shouldn't be locked. There we go. That'll work. Alright, now we're going to try this again. Just got to go back to the campfire. Can you, can you, 
Can you search all this? I don't care if I get hit and, and die here. Whatever. All right, let's try this again. Let's go back to the campfire. So, yeah, I've unlocked the entire map at this point. At least that we can get to. All right, sit on down here. Let's go ahead and leave. And run, Forrest, run. Down through here, through this gate, and now with most of the stuff kind of killed, and we get ourselves a whole bunch of leather and hide. Still not the hide that I need for the Shiv Trio number three. So yeah, I'm missing something there, that's for darn sure. Let me get out of here so those things don't hit me. So what do I want to do next? Well, let's go on down here, there's a locked door. Blue Ponds, Roadside Motel. Have not been there yet. Backyard construction. Who knows? There might be something there that uh, we can go on and build. Kind of like we made smelters and such. Oh, uh, we got a quest here. Um, search the motel office for the room number. Oh, wait. There's a, a dropped notebook page on the ground. One of the quests is report guess is reportedly acting suspiciously. I, I would imagine they are. Keep hearing valuables, looking items, maybe contraband. Motel office should have the guest and room info. Alright, it's 3000 XP. I think we're here anyways. And the question is, do I have the key that I can unlock? Uh, room number two. So I gotta go to the office. Do I have the key to get in? The good news is, I've already unlocked the tower, so anything I kill is not gonna respawn, so that's always a bonus. I'm just trying to figure out which one would the office be. It's blocked. Of course it is. It's always blocked. Alright, you know what? Have to use two grenades, but I'll use two grenades. The heck with it. Nope, nope. This way. Thank you. So I gotta gather that. Uh, nope, so that's not uh, what I was hoping for. Ah, uh, tight quarters with this thing. That uh, should be fun. Fun and easy, I guess. <laughs> oh, I remember the first time I ran into one of those. They were difficult. Now it's like, yeah, two hits and he's gone. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock or unblock this door. Open up that up. Here's a filing cabinet. Is this what we're looking for? Oh, yeah. Room number four, apparently. Uh, I see four over there. And let me guess, the door is blocked right by this van. All right, so how do I get into room number four? Room number four... Ouch. My guess is... Is that the only door to get in there? Can I knock down one of these walls here? I cannot. Upgrade to level. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna be able to get to there. So, oh, I got it. I got it. I think. All right. Can I sneak in there? Is the question. Is that actually going to give me enough room to get in there? It's blocked. Can I get in room number three? Okay, I can get in room number three by going through room number two. My inventory is full, which is exactly the way I want it because, you know, <laughs> whatever I find now, I'm not going to pick on up. This one's nothing here. That one's a dirty bed. Uh, nothing here. Empty. There's a hidden note behind the painting. 
Uh, dear accomplice, the items are getting a bit too hot to keep here. I've stashed the car key and location behind the office toilet seat. Meet me later. The office toilet seat, huh? All right. Uh, probably just need, I need to go back to the fireplace and unload my inventory here. Luckily, I don't have too far to go. It's just right here. Didn't realize I was that close. Stash all that in there. A lot of stuff to smash in here and collect. I don't know what items they're talking about. Um, where was I here for the office? Where, where is the... Oh, to okay, here it is. Like, where, where's the toilet? Uh, there's another note. Here's the key. The car is parked west underfields. Search for the car at parking lot at west underfield. All right. Uh, are, are we going to actually be able to get to drive a car? That'd be kind of cool. Fast transportation. Yeah, that, that's what we need. Uh, let me go and check the map here. Well, I'm just going to follow the instructions which says travel to Underfield. Well, there we go. Search the car at parking lot at West Underfield. Alright, so I got to find the parking lot, I suppose. Clear this out a little bit. Is there a parking lot here? Unless they're talking about that over there. Well, instead of walking around everything, let's just go ahead and barge right on through. It's blocked. Of course it is. Everything is blocked. Do I really need to listen to the radio? I mean... If you encounter any unknown plant life, please stay back and report the location to the liquidators. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Well, apparently there are liquidators. Alright, so this is the parking lot west. Attention, any authorized vehicles will be towed away at owner's expense. For more information, contact... Well, we've been to the auto, auto sal salvage. Search the car at parking lot... Oh, let me guess. Now i got to go to travel to the salvage north of Underfield. Uh, we were just kind of there a little while ago. So I guess back up to here. Luckily, it's not too far. Um, while I'm here, let me go ahead and ditch some of this stuff. It's like I'm running around in circles here. Search for more hit hints on what the car looks like. Um... I mean, what kind of hints am I looking for? Bueller? Bueller? Anyone? Well, I'm kind of hoping that maybe this is the office of the salvage yard. Have no clue. What do I get when I search this cabinet? Oh, the car that this key belongs to is an orange van. Alrighty, now I just need to find the orange van. Orange van. I see an orange van. Is this an orange van? Search for an orange van. Uh, there's another one over here. There we go. What are we getting actually here? Oh, hello. Deadly blade weapon inspired by the land of the rising sun. Uh, melee da damage against monsters. 150% power attack. 50% extra bomb monster melee targets. Plus two. Ah, yes. Uh, tw do I have that material? Yes, give me my 3,000 experience, but I want I want the... Uh, no, I don't have enough material, but we can get that. We can get that pretty darn quick, I think. We've got to smash more of these metal fences apart. Alright, I should have everything that I need to build... 
this lovely little weapon that we just found. Yeah, yeah, store everything away. Uh, invent and craft. Right on over here. Hold down the craft. Uh, thank you very much. I shall. Alright, inventory. Um, let's go ahead and swap that out with... Let's see, the bat is 200 knockback. Power attack damage, 120. This is 150. Hello there, how you doing? Now, I know we gotta try it out, right? Of course, we're gonna try it out here. What do I get to damage with here? Alright, can't damage with this tool. So what can I damage with it here? That's the question. Alright, so what I need to do is... Need to go to my inventory. I need to swap out now the axe and put the bat back in there because I need to damage certain things with it. Let's find ourselves someone to attack. And there are some over here. Probably the one thing I probably should have checked on is... Can I... Did I just kill like a whole bunch of fish? Um, can I upgrade this? Is the question. I need maybe to find out if I can upgrade this. Let's go ahead and sit down first and let's see if I can... I'm pretty sure I'd be able to upgrade it, right? Wouldn't make any sense if I couldn't. There we go. Uh, man is sharp. Oh, nope, that's the wrong one. Alright, so I need 25 iron fabric, which I got a decent amount of. Increases damage from 15 to 20, so right now it's not doing that much damage. Alright, uh, fair enough. But I'll leave it marked so we can track it. I should have a whole bunch of those. Um, where exactly are we here? I should have a whole bunch of those over at the Pike Steel Manufacturing. That's where we're making... That's where our smelters are. Um... Yeah, I really don't need the titanium. I think I can probably just it'd be easier for me to go around and smack fences and get it that way. And that's what we're probably going to do. Now, the only problem is, yeah, I've kind of explored all the maps. So I'm going to do a lot of smashing and smashing between episodes here. Um, hopefully, by the time next week comes around, maybe there'll be an update to the game where we can explore another part of the map. But yeah, I... I didn't realize when I said two parts of the map have been expanded. Um, they were talking about this region right here. Half of this map and then the rest of the half. So, yeah, unfortunately I thought there was two regions, but there was one that was in two different parts. It is what it is. But we got ourselves a new weapon out to follow it. Um, I'm also need to get some meat so I can go ahead and make a flank steak. Got to go ahead and kill myself a deer, which uh, shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to start using grenades. That might be the easiest thing to do. Let's go ahead and get this Manta back out, and let's try this with this. Yeah, that does a lot of damage, because with the bat, it was about maybe half hit points I was taking out. And as you can see, with one hit, I almost took care of it completely. So with a lot of this fence here, I'm going to gather as much as I can of this material, so we can upgrade our Kanta... Katana? I, I, I'm pronouncing that wrong completely. I know I am. But anyways... I'll try to gather as much material as I can so we can upgrade that together next episode. But I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Dismantled. But until then, have a good one.